Throughout my life at different times, I've experienced varying levels of anxiety, sometimes low level mild or what's called generalized anxiety. And on occasion when things have been particularly difficult, I've experienced more intense or debilitating forms. The type that has us feel completely overwhelmed or fearful or not wanting to leave the house even. In this video, I wanna share with you a powerful practice that combines mindfulness, time out in nature and photography process that has on more than one occasion no doubt saved my sanity. Hi there and welcome to Luminous Lives, my YouTube channel. My name is Phil Askew and I'm so happy to have you here. I have been a coach for creative entrepreneurs for 14 years and in that time I've accumulated a lot of information and experiences and tools that I'd love to share with you. I help creative entrepreneurs really get clear on their vision so that they get to do the work that they love to do. I think that you are here to put your work out into the world, whether that's a craft or whether that's your creativity or whether that's launching a business is gonna impact the world in a, in a positive, conscious way. I hope you hang around. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I think you're gonna enjoy the content that I've got planned for you. I'll be sharing with you tools and techniques and structures that I've used over the years with my clients. Things that we'll be focusing in on, mental health, creativity and how to express your creativity, ideation of your venture, like what does your venture look like? How do you step out there in the world from a place of confidence and clarity? So the way that I work with my clients is very much a hybrid approach. So photography, filmmaking, coaching and storytelling. And I wanna be able to bring lots of experience from my work with my clients to you. And so with all that being said, let's jump into today's content. How I overcome anxiety with mindful photo walks. According to mine, the UK mental health charity, one in four people experience a mental health problem of some kind each year in England alone. That's quite surprising. My own journey with anxiety really began when I decided to go out alone as a solopreneur and to become my own boss. I launched my coaching practice back in 2009 and I decided I need to be on it building up my business from day one. Being self-employed means we need to wear many hats from marketing to sales to personal branding. And that's all on top of doing the work that we actually have chosen to do. So in my instance, to be a coach and photographer. And I would find a particularly stressful times, particularly in the early days of my practice, that I would often feel overwhelmed and flooded, if you like, with content. I would feel as if I had emails to respond to. I had a whole list of to-dos I had to do and they were never making progress. They were never moving down that list. On particularly stressful days, I would start to feel this real sense of anxiety and overwhelm. As the day's requirements would start to build up and emails from clients would start to come in, I would start to feel more and more anxious and overwhelmed and stressed. I feel trapped in my office, in my studio space, which I usually love, but when things were difficult, when things were really overwhelming, I would just feel like I was trapped in this cage. In these times, I would have the compelling urge to get up, just grab my camera and escape, really. I just feel drawn to green spaces, nature, parks, woods. At first, I presumed I was just trying to get away from my studio and all the associated head noise that went along with it. Those things that in these moments felt almost impossible to handle. What I noticed that when I reached somewhere green, for instance, my mind would start to calm down. I would notice that my thoughts would begin to unravel and my tension would ease. When I was in that space of nature and greenery, I would start to naturally refuel. So I was being drawn and called to go to the environment that was going to fill me up and give me what it was I needed at that time. As my tension began to subside after walking for a little while, I'd have more capacity to notice my surroundings. I had more headspace, my curiosity and interest for where I was in that moment returned, and I began to take photographs of what I saw. That which drew my attention, I'd point my camera at, and I'd take a shot. After an hour or two of walking and noticing and taking photos, the relief I'd feel was visceral. My sense of wonder returned. I feel gratitude and appreciation for my life and for my business. I'd feel less anxious about the future and needing to have it all handled, which was a huge relief. And when I returned home, I'd have a whole load more capacity 
and range to get the actual important stuff done, to be able to prioritize and feel a sense of self-worth as I'd honored my own well-being and my own mental health. So, how do you set yourself up for a mindful photo walk? Here are six steps to help you along the way. Number one, lock in the time. Allocate time to your calendar. Hold it as sacred. As if you're having a meeting with a very important client or friend, give yourself at least one hour, or maybe two. Give yourself a nice breathing space so that you can just get into the flow of doing a mindful photo walk. Have it be uninterrupted time. Number two, pick your destination. If you know somewhere green nearby and have a sense that it'll be quiet, open, not bustling with people, head there. If not, open up Google Maps and check out the green spaces around you and just pick one of them. Feel yourself drawn to some green space and just notice, yeah, I'm going to take a walk over there. Number three, pack a notebook and a pen. You may want to take some notes and capture thoughts and reflections and this analog method, it just feels more natural. Number four, pack a camera. Make sure you have a card in there and a full battery. Don't get hooked on what lens you need, a prime lens or a zoom lens, whatever you've got attached will be just fine. Number five, get out that front door. Possibly the most challenging step, particularly if you have a whole host of thoughts and notifications vying for your attention. Number six, turn off distractions. Put your phone in airplane mode for the duration once you've reached your destination. You can still use your phone in airplane mode as a camera if you don't have a dedicated one. That's the difficult bit done. And so when you arrive at this location, start to breathe into your belly. Soften and notice your surroundings. Lift up your head. Again, often a side effect of being stressed and overwhelmed and anxious is that we look down and we almost like shield our heads. We don't want any more content coming in because we just feel as if we can't handle it. So now that you're in this green space, just look around you, notice, see what you feel compelled by, see what you feel interested in, notice where you are and point yourself in a direction. Maybe you've planned a route ahead of time where you've got a loop that you're gonna be doing this mindful photo walk in, or maybe you're just gonna follow your feet. You have an intuitive sense of the direction you wanna head off in. Either is absolutely fine, this is completely down to you, but just trust yourself and set off in the direction that you've chosen. Notice if you're rushing into this. We have a tendency to do this. Usually we're going from A to B if we're walking anywhere, but this is a different process. Notice if you're pounding the floor as you walk, if you're marching. This is not about the distance you cover or the pace. Much as your Apple Watch might be trying to convince you otherwise. Try walking at half your usual pace. Depending on where you find yourself, you may feel a little conspicuous doing that. Imagining that everyone is watching what you're up to. But trust me, nobody is watching you. They'll either be too busy in their own thoughts or wondering how they're looking to everyone else. It's just human nature. Open your senses to your surroundings. Smell the air. Feel the temperature on your skin. Notice the details. What do you see? What do you sense? That's key to really getting the full benefit from a mindful photo walk. Being present to each and every moment, letting it inform you. As you walk, imagine that everything you encounter is brand new. This might be a different way of looking at things, but try and drop your interpretation and try and drop your assumptions Pause all of the stories you have about what you see and stay open and stay deeply curious. As you feel drawn to the texture of the tree bark maybe or the symmetry of the fallen leaf, just notice, just let it in. Just capture it. This doesn't have to be the best photograph you've ever taken. But make sure you point that lens at it 
push the shutter. I believe there's an important moment here, something that wants you to see it. Notice maybe the clouds passing by, or the evocative quality of the light passing through the branches. When you feel that tug of intrigue, pause and just take a photograph. Remember, this is not about creating archive or gallery standard photography. This is about capturing a moment. Great, so when you feel done and you've spent your time out in the field, so to speak, take a few moments to write in your journal. Do this before you head back. Maybe reflect on some of the following questions to help you. What did you discover about yourself on this photo walk? What surprised you? What's important to remember about today? What caught your eye and what delighted you? And finally, what new awareness are you taking home with you? You'll get a sense of being drawn towards textures or patterns or symmetries that you might not have seen before. Allow yourself to play with your usual way of taking photographs. So if you're a photographer like me, I might have an approach which might be kind of like eye level and looking for the detail on the leaf or on the bark. I want to encourage you to actually approach it in a different way. What interesting angles are you being called to look at? Follow that urge. What kind of images might you take if you knew that nobody was ever going to see these photographs? Maybe it's 45 degree angles. Maybe you're laying on your belly. Maybe you're laying on your back looking up. Who knows? But I want to encourage you to play here and allow your fun and creativity to come to the surface. Doing a mindful photo walk is not about creating the best images you've ever created. What this is about is allowing your environment to connect with you, being real time in this moment. Becoming fully engaged in the moment with what's surrounding you and taking photographs of it will take you out of that loop of incessant thoughts. And this is why mindful photo walks are incredibly beneficial. Along with this, opening yourself up to taking photographs in a different way will just get you excited about photography again. I know it does for me. Whenever I go out there with no expectations on needing to create the best images I've ever created, suddenly I'll come up with all these playful ways of approaching it. What I notice happens is that we have this sense of renewed wonder with taking photographs again. Being out in a mindful photo walk almost like clears out all the cobwebs. And I just notice I've got this real sense of interest and intrigue that permeates through to my regular photography. Also, make sure when you get home that you download those photographs and just check them out. Put them up in front of you. Have all the images up if you can in a gallery format. Maybe use Lightroom or some other piece of software that allows you to see everything together. And start to notice if there's a pattern. So what I'll often see is that there is a pattern in the images that I've chosen to take. Whether it's the quality of light, whether it is the details in nature, whether in a leaf or in the bark or in the grass blades, I'll start to see a pattern and I'll say to myself, okay, so what does this want me to know? What do I need to remember from these images? Maybe there is an overall story that you're trying to tell yourself. What is your subconscious trying to communicate with you? Is it trying to remind you that actually life is pretty good out there? Is it trying to point to you and say, right, okay, you are part of nature as well. Give yourself a bit more of an easy time. Stop being so hard on yourself. What is the overall story that wants you to see it? I would love to hear how you got on in the comments below. If you've decided to do your own mindful photo walk to combat anxiety or just for fun, let me know how you got on. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Luminous Lives. I'll be bringing out plenty more videos around stepping into your creativity, joining up all the dots on your venture if you're a creative entrepreneur, and just getting more visible and getting more clear about the work that you feel called to do in the world. So until next time, remember your mission matters and go well. I'll see you soon.